In terms of Charles law, explain why minus 273 degrees Celsius is the lowest possible temperature. Now, what is Charles law? What did Mr. Charles do? Charles law says that um, if you take a fixed amount of gas, that means fixed number of moles of gas at constant pressure, and you measure its volume at different temperatures, right? Then you would find that volume of any gas, volume of any gas is proportional to its absolute temperature T. Volume of any gas is proportional to its absolute temperature T. So V1 by V0 is T1 by T0, something like this. Now, what is V1, V0? V0 and T0 are some initial temperatures and volume. V1, T1 are final volume and final temperature or at any other condition as such. Can we plot this graphically? Yes, we can. And instead of absolute temperature, T1, this is T1 degree Celsius plus 273, you could also take like this. Very interesting. If you plot this graphically, you get very interesting points like this. You would discover that whenever volume versus temperature is being measured, and if you plot all of these gra uh, graphs, you would discover that first of all, these are lines of fixed slope, they will be obtained, very, very beautiful, like this. And all these lines converge at a single point. And what is this point? This is minus 273.15. Yeah, if you neglect this 0.15, normally people just approximate this, minus 273 degrees Celsius. That's it. Since at minus 273 degrees Celsius, all these lines converge. And if you just want to go below this, volume will become negative now and volume cannot become negative volume the lowest volume possible would be zero you can't get negative volume so by charles law you can say that minus 273 degrees celsius is the lowest possible temperature since below this temperature if that is possible the volume would become negative which is impossible so that is the lowest possible temperature